Hey guys, this is Eomeister238, and today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to build this friendly survival Minecraft house with a nice interior, glass windows, chess rooms, cool bedrooms, and maybe a nice little pool table too if you'd want. And I will also put the amount of blocks you need for everything to build this right here. All right, so now for the beginning of the tutorial, we're gonna start by building the front face of the house. And what you're gonna do first is you get your spruce logs, go one, two, three, four, up. You're gonna put uh, oak wood here, go one, two, three, leave two spaces, these are for the two doors. And then one, two, three with the oak wood, and then one, two, three, four with the spruce log. And you're gonna real quick close the gap up here with the oak wood as well. And what I like to do, you can put two more oak wood logs, which is, I guess, more cost efficient in survival but I like to put stairs here, which just creates a little bit of divot, uh, just a little bit of attention uh, detail and stuff like that, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna start by making the window. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four with oak planks, and you're gonna make pretty much a four by four window. It's a very simplistic, very easy window to make, and you have a two by two hole in the middle, and then you're gonna put another one by four post right here of the spruce logs. So you got that, and you're gonna duplicate that window right over here, so one, two, three, four, Duplicate the window real quick. All right, and so this is the most basic kind of front face of the house. Now we're gonna start creating a more three-dimensional shape. So from this spruce log right here, you're gonna put four spruce logs down. So that's one, two, three, four. And these are just gonna be bottom halves. And then you're gonna make a one by four post. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna duplicate this window that we just made over here with the oak wood. And we're gonna just duplicate it over here. So one, two, three, four. And you're gonna make a nice little two by two hole and then you're gonna put another one by four post like that. And then you're gonna just curve it around and make this whole thing symmetrical. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four uh, spruce logs, and then a one by four post. And now we're gonna make another window right here. We're gonna duplicate this three times. And that's why the different, uh, that's why the back is a little bit different than the front. Instead of having that two uh, by two doorway right there, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover that up and create another window. And basically you're gonna replicate this all around and make this completely symmetrical on both sides, except the back and front, of course, are a little bit different. And make sure when you're building too that these spruce logs line up, that's a sign that you're doing it correctly. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now you should have this very basic frame. And this is the most basic, I guess, exterior frame of the house that we could possibly come up with. The next part is super simple. You just get your oak planks. And you're gonna to wanna to duplicate, uh, oopsie. You're gonna to wanna to duplicate a little frame right around here. And this goes uh, two blocks above each of these spruce logs right here. And basically this will just connect the house and create a more four dimensional, more kind of grouped look almost. So go ahead and do that. Duplicate this on each of the four corners of the house. All right, so now the next step is actually a little weird because we're actually gonna work on the interior, which is something I typically don't do. But for this specific build, it, it really helps if you start off with interior. You're gonna go right down here. You're gonna get your spruce logs out and you're gonna make a line going all the way across. And eventually there will be a doorway in here and all that, but first we're just gonna build the frame of the house before we begin doing the inner details. And on top of that, you're just gonna to wanna to stack up oak planks. And I know it looks kind of boring right now because you know when you stack up blocks like oak planks just over and over again, you get this kind of boring looking texture, but eventually we're gonna add more detail into the house. And so this will look a lot nicer, but you're gonna to wanna to do that on both sides, and then I will help you out from there. Now your house should be looking like this. You got the interior walls, the basic frame on the outside done. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating the tower that you always see in the middle. And this is a good place for storage system, which I'll eventually show you later uh, with the details in the house. But from here, we're gonna go on top of this spruce plank, the one by four that you did, and we're actually gonna add five, uh, five more. So you got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the way we're gonna do this part is on top of the doorway that you've already created, you're gonna create another window, kinda of like this, except it's gonna be a two by three hole in the middle, you'll see what I mean. So you go one, two, three, four, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, up on each one. And this is gonna create a two by three hole. So it's a longer, more extended version of the window, which makes sense because it's an upstairs, uh, upstairs door. And then from there, you're gonna duplicate this window on this side over here on the back, it's gonna be the exact same. And you're gonna fill up the interior with oak wood, which I know is gonna look boring because you're gonna have this whole section filled with oak wood. 
but when you do, uh, when you finish the build, you're not gonna see all the oak wood in between and you won't see this one bland texture. Instead, you'll see a bunch of different stuff and you'll see that as we get later into the video. But for now, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and fill in all this space right here with oak wood and duplicate that window on this side right here. Okay, so now you should have this kind of frame. And I, I, again, you see this terrible bland oak wall, but eventually you won't be able to see that once we start working on the roof, which is actually what I'm gonna start doing now. So for, for the very first part of the roof, it's gonna be simple. Just get stone bricks and you wanna wrap around this entire layer right here. No, not one higher, not one lower. You won't just wanna wrap around the entire building, which does take up a lot of stairs. So it's not completely resource friendly, but it will look nice once it's done. So go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and now we'll have this stone brick ring. And from here, the roof is actually really simple, yet it looks eloquent. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start going up in layers. You're gonna keep wrapping up around in kind of this pyramid formation, all right? You're gonna get the spruce, you're gonna go up this layer, you're gonna go up three layers actually, but each time you do one, you do the layers uh, one block in. And so it creates this kind of pyramid wrapping around shape, you know? You'll, you'll eventually see, I mean, when you start building it yourself. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around the entire thing of the build. And on the third layer, there's a specific, specific way that I actually build the third layer that uh, kind of differentiates from the way we build these layers. So go ahead, build the first two, and then I'll show you how to specifically build the third layer. But then eventually, once we get all three layers, you'll just duplicate that on this side. But I'll go ahead and get the first two layers done right now. All right, and now that we got the th uh, two first layers done, you can see that's creating this kind of inwards pyramid shape, which I was talking about earlier. But the reason the third layer is a little bit different is because if you keep going with it, you'll eventually notice that there's a, a problem that you can run into if you don't address it properly. So let's get right here towards the middle. So right here, if you try to curve around and go around right here, it creates that odd two stair shape, which I don't know why it does that. Probably because of the way the game works. But instead of doing that and getting that ugly shape, we're just gonna go across. We're gonna ignore this two gap and we'll come back to that later. And we'll just cover that with slabs eventually. But this will make it so that the layer can keep going up. And since we're only doing three layers, we won't have to worry about more problems like that later. You see right here, we'd probably have that problem once again. So you'll just go up three layers like that, ignore this hole for the time being, and I promise we'll get to it in just a second. But first, we're gonna finish the third layer and we're gonna duplicate this on both sides, which is a little tedious, but it makes the house look really nice. So go ahead and do that. All right, now that you got the most tedious part of this whole tutorial out of the way, which is this roof right here, I tell you what, that takes forever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spruce slabs out, which let me get that real quick. And now we're just gonna coat this over. And so we're gonna go to the roof, we're gonna put one, two, and we're gonna have it level with these stairs right here, because that always looks the nicest. We're gonna do that on both sides. And then we'll duplicate this on both sides, but you're just gonna go one higher, one half slot higher than the uh, spruce stair with a spruce slab. And you're just gonna fill all this in right here. So go ahead and go ahead, uh, do that on both sides. And once that's finished, you'll be ready for this part of the roof uh, on top right here. All right. All right, so we got these two sides of the roof done. And I forgot to tell you, but the reason we actually do it on this specific layer, you can build it down here, but, uh, since we're using the bottom half slab, this makes sure that the roof is entirely mob proof and you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, you don't have to use any sort of lighting on roofs, which sometimes can make a uh, building look a little bit uglier if you have to put lighting on top of it and you don't know how to implement that. All right, but for this next part, we're gonna start with a stone brick layer first. We're gonna go all the way across here. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then you're gonna wanna do this on both sides, but you're gonna stack up with the stairs. And you're gonna do this on, on both sides. You're gonna go up one, and you're gonna go up another right here. And you're gonna do that until you meet in the middle. Let me show you. I tell you what, working with stairs can be a little bit tedious, but it makes your builds look a lot nicer. All right, so we're gonna have this sort of shape on both sides. And you're gonna to want to make each part of the roof overhang, except you're not gonna use spruce, uh, spruce stairs, you're just gonna use the stone bricks that we were just using to kind of create like an outline of the roof almost. And then you're gonna go down here and on each uh, stone brick stair, we're gonna put one going upside down so that it creates this full looking trim. You see how it does that right there. And then the interior right here will all be spruce filled up going all the way down. And you'll do this on both sides too, on the front door and the back door. And then we're gonna fill in this inside part right here with oak wood. So you're gonna do that. 
So the front will look like this. And you know what, what we can do actually is if we make that a two by four window, I know we said originally it was gonna be a two by three, but if we do that, it makes it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, we'll keep that. And then we're gonna extend this all the way over and do the same thing over here. I'm gonna fix that roof real quick. Sorry about misinforming you guys on that. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll get back after the roof is done on the tower part. All right, so now you should have the exterior looking somewhat like this. We got the two by four hole right there, the front door, the windows. We got the roofs completely patched up with completely mob proofable blocks since we got the stairs and the slabs. And now we're gonna just work on the windows, which that's gonna be super easy. You can use any glass of your choice. I like this, uh, the, just a regular plain glass now that we got this new texture. But on these blocks right here, I like to use the panes that way we get a nice kind of like detail, kind of make it look almost 3D kind of. And then for this part right here, obviously I just use the glass block and fill that up. And then we boop, you know, do that. And so we're gonna do that on every single window, every single side of this entire house. And for up here, I also like to use panes for that. So we'll go ahead and fill up all the glass in the house real quick. Now that we got all the glass in, and I must say that this new glass texture, Mojang is doing a good job because that is nice, how it's almost perfectly see-through. All right, but now we're gonna start working on the outside materials and eventually we will add outside furnishings to the house as well, such as bushes and something along those lines. But let's go ahead and start working on the hallway inside. So what I like to do is we're gonna get stone bricks and white concrete, which you can use any other blocks. This is just my floor design. If you wanna go with the specific maybe pattern that I use, it will make the house look nice. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using stone bricks and white concrete. And again, feel free to change it up all you want. But basically, we're just gonna line up the interior of this hall real quick with white concrete and stone bricks. And man, that sound is kind of obnoxious with all the, all the glass breaking. So go ahead and do that. And for the doorways, I'll show you what to do with these, is we're gonna center it. So you're gonna go one, two, three. Uh, I, I don't know what the center is. Let's see if this looks right. Um, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it might actually be uneven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, nope, sorry, I'm good. All right, so we'll create a nice little doorway. And don't worry, this huge extended hall, you won't eventually see that. We're eventually gonna add a floor here. But you'll go ahead and make the two doorways real quick so that we can get into our main rooms. And you're gonna fill this with this outside block right here. And then you're gonna go around the whole house and exterior, like around with, with the block of your choice that's in this hall, you're gonna go around the entire thing. And for the corners, you don't wanna go around like that just cause I think it looks a little bit nicer if you just stay with the edges. So go ahead, wrap that around all your floors and then fill in the rest of course with white concrete or whatever you choose to fill it in with. But go ahead and do that and the house will start looking pretty nice. Okay, so now that we got the floors done, you got the stone brick little surrounding with the white concrete, the nice indentation of the, of the oak wood stairs making a nice little doorway. Now we're gonna work on the roofs of either side, which of course is gonna be the same because this is a symmetrical build. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna get a spruce uh, planks block. And you see how there's the edges created by the stairs right here that make these nice, even though they're not actual spruce blocks or stairs, you're gonna to wanna to create that around the entire interior. So we'll add that block right there, right here where it's missing, and we'll go completely across the back like that. That way it will look like we have this almost block around the entire ceiling. And note too, that up here, you're gonna to wanna to put torches or something just because mobs will be able to spawn on these blocks. So if you want to completely mob proof your house, do not forget to put torches up here. But after that, you're just going to fill up the rest of it with a half slab, which will make it look like you got a slab on the bottom and then a slab in the middle. Yep. So this is the right roof design right here. And you're going to fill up the entire thing with spruce slabs, except the exterior, which I showed you how you uh, already do it with the spruce block. So go ahead and do that real quick. And I'll show you what the end result should look like. Okay, so your half should, uh, the, the room should be looking like this, just so you can have an example or a little bit of a reference. It's this nice little half slab and then the ceiling, and it makes the ceiling actually a little bit higher than the usual three block ceiling that you're accustomed to when building, or I'm sorry, four block. And so go ahead, and now that you know what this is like, we'll start working on the next part of the build in just a moment. 
Okay, so now we got both sides of the rooms done. Sorry, I was working on the other side after I did that little snippet of a video. But now we got both uh, of the room ceilings done and now we're gonna step into the hallway and we're gonna do this ceiling right here. So get your stone bricks and uh, block that you built the floor out of or, or whichever blocks you used. And go ahead, you'll just put them one, two, three blocks above and you'll make a little frame real quick. Goes around. And then you'll fill it in with the white concrete and this will be floor number two. This is typically, it's a small floor. So what I like to do is I like to keep my chest up there, my little chest room. Since this is just a, a starter out survival house, you know, you don't want anything to be too crazy or too big. But uh, I, I like to create a little hole here too and get some ladder out. And you can get the ladder, go up into the room. Since there's not a lot of space in the house, I typically use a ladder. I mean, you could add a staircase if you wanted to. A nice little staircase where it just goes up and opens up into the floor, but just with the amount of limited space we have, and since this is a friendly little survival house, I just use a ladder. But you can climb up here, and now we're actually gonna start working on the roof. We got our ladder, and we got our floor. We're gonna do the roof of this part right here. And what I like to do is I'm gonna get the spruce slabs out, we're gonna go one, one, two, just like that. Just a nice little pattern. And each time we do it, we're gonna space it uh, by three. So we're gonna repeat this pattern after we go one, two, three over. And as you can see, we repeat it right there. And we're gonna to wanna to do this from both sides. So do it over here real quick and then go one, two, three. Do that over there. And the reason we're doing it from both sides is because it's actually an uneven number. But if we do it like this, there will be a four space gap in the middle, which makes a little, it's still symmetrical because you got the three and the three and then the four. But this adds a little bit of roof detail right here. It makes it pop out a bit more and stand out, which is always nice. All right, and now we're gonna start working on the walls, making the walls look nice. Okay, so however you use the wall space is up to you. I typically make this a chest room, which I'll eventually build, but for the wall detail, we're actually gonna go on, wanna go one, two over, get our uh, oak uh, stair out. We're gonna break this block, place that there, and that's a bit, little bit of the lighting that I used in the roof. And then you're gonna wanna break the block above it and go one in for the oak wood. And we're just gonna do that, and we're gonna repeat that. So we're gonna go one, two over, put the stair, and go out with the block like that. And we're gonna do it from the other side as well, so we'll go one, two over, and we'll do the same pattern. Real quick, one, we got that. So we get this kind of like shaded, it makes the wall just stand out a bit more instead of being so symmetrical and boring, which we don't want in our walls. We never want to have just a blank wall, which even looking at this, it still could use a little bit of sprucing up, but I don't want to do too much detail in this house just because this is a survival friendly house and I know stairs are kind of hard to come by when you're first starting off. If you guys ever want me to do a future video of this where I added in a ton more detail and make it look perfect. Just comment down below and I'll go ahead and do that for you. But we'll go ahead and do this on both walls and eventually you'll be able to see. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it now. You can put the chest oop, right there and it adds kind of like a little bit of depth into the wall. But we can do that and so we'll duplicate this on both walls real quick and I'll put some chest in and make this a little chest room that we can use. Okay so now we got the chest in and hopefully this should be enough chest for you when building your house, but if not, you can use this space however you want. This is just what I would use for it in, in my survival house. And to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm actually gonna put oak wood stairs on top. You don't have to do this, this is totally up to you, the interior, but this is how I'm, I'm, I'm gonna design the interior and show you guys what I would do. So I'll do that, and it makes it look a little bit nicer, it makes the room kinda look fuller almost. And now for the lighting, we're just gonna get, uh, for this tutorial, we're just gonna make it pretty simple. We're gonna get some torches and put the torches above each of the columns that we made right here, as you can see what I'm doing. And we'll repeat that over and over and over again. I would like to use sea lanterns and stuff, but again, since this is survival friendly, we wanna use just the torches. And this should mob proof this entire system. And if you want to, to make it even nicer and organize your chest and everything, what I like to do is I'll put a sign there and maybe say, I have my stone here, my dirt, and my, I don't know, wood. Say we do that. And that will like link to the chest kind of, you know, like stone on the top dirt in the middle, wood on this chest. And that kind of helps out with the um, chest sorting. But you'll just do that on each side and put the sign down here, or maybe just like right by it actually. That's all completely up to you, but this is how I would design this floor. Maybe you can add some carpet in here if you, if you have a nice little wool farm or something, or if that's too eccentric, you know, that's all right too. But we'll go ahead and we'll leave this down here and we're gonna go to one of the rooms. This is what I would do for the top. Again, feel free 
to design whatever you want, but this is what I'm gonna do. And now I'll go ahead and design your main bedroom. Okay, so now this is your nice master bedroom. And what we're gonna add in here is obviously some bed materials. Let me get rid of this stuff real quick. So I'll, I guess we could start off with the bed. You can choose whatever color your bed, uh, bed you want. I like to do purple just because I guess I'm kind of a weirdo for that. But we'll place the beds right there. And now we're gonna get some stuff that you would use on a like, daily basis, like a crafting table, we'll put that there, maybe a furnace, and maybe a double chest or something like that, something that we use all the time, you know? Just some nice little stuff like there, maybe an anvil around the room. And to decorate the room, we're gonna get some carpet. I'm gonna, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna get white, gray. We're just gonna get the four nice colors. These are, these are easy colors to get to carpet. But you can make like a cool little carpet design, maybe you wanna do, uh, for this tutorial, I'll just do checkered or something. We'll add a checkered in carpet. That like kind of transforms the color on us. Here. Let's add this in real quick. Boom, boom. Again, this is all design up to you. This is, this is personally what I would do just because I like the way this looks. But this is totally up to you. Feel free. Don't feel constricted by this video. Uh, do whatever you would like. You know? Maybe if you don't like these colors, I, you, you, it's totally up to you. I think that's right. Ooh, one more right there. So there's a nice little carpet for the entrance, something like that. And along this wall to make it less plain, we can get some bookshelves, which I know I said this is a resource friendly, so if you wouldn't like to use the bookshelves, it's totally up to you. But I think it makes the room look a bit more sophisticated, almost like a bedroom. So that you can add these along the back. There's that, that looks kind of nice. Uh, have some kind of cool looking bookshelves. Maybe put some carpet on it for more detail, just to make it look like it's topped off. That looks pretty good. And I'm actually gonna extend this carpet real quick uh, because I don't like the way that turned out right here. But yeah, I mean, this is all stuff that, you know, you would personalize your house with. Maybe, you know, maybe you're not liking the way it's looking. This is all up to you, you know? And what else could we add? For the lighting, the lighting, uh, we could add, get glowstone, which is probably the easiest block to come by. Or if you would really like to, this would be a little, I guess, riskier because if you ever break blocks, it's kind of annoying if you break carpet, but you could put, torch down there and then a carpet on top for lighting. But what I'll do for this tutorial is we'll get some glowstone. This will light up the room a bit more. And then we get the torches that we've been using. Place those on either walls. Put it right here and here. And what else could we add to this room? And I mean, this is just the basic room you wanna go for, you know, maybe get rid of that because that looks a little weird. Just something, something like this style. You know, it's completely up to you because it's your bedroom, your choice. You get to choose what you do. This is personally what I would do. And for doors, I always like to use the birch doors just because birch doors look really nice, in my opinion. Yeah, they look so pretty. But yeah, so we could design this. And, and again, feel free to include all you want. Maybe you would want some, um, let's see. Maybe you'd want some heads on the wall for trophies or something like that, something cool, you know? Nice little head trophies right there. It's all up to you. It's completely what you want. So there's the bedroom though, complete. And over here, I, I like to make this just kind of like a party space. Let me get the doors real quick. What we can do over here is get green wool. And I like to add in just like a little pool table. You know, not, not stuff that's necessarily required for survival, but just makes your house look a little bit nicer. You can make it like a little pool table with signs. This looks pretty cool. Put that all around, and, oops. Sorry, trying to do this pretty quickly. <laughs> so there's that. You got a nice pool table, maybe you want some chairs, you know, get some, let's see, what would be good chairs? Maybe quartz, white chairs. Got these in the corner. Nice little catch or something like that. And again, this is all up to you. Most of the inside is design-wise. design, uh, design -wise. I like to leave it up to you guys to design, but I will give you some ideas just because this is the tutorial. This just makes it look a bit, little bit nicer. You got the torches and make those symmetrical. If I can place them on the right block. There's that. Maybe add like a nice little uh, carpet that we did the other one. Checkered carpet, let's see. Boom, and then we could add more glowstone under there to make that look nicer. Get the lighting even. And so there's that, nice little carpet. You got some chairs, some easy desk designs. Actually, I, I, there's this one desk design that I just saw recently and I thought it was genius. If we get a piston and a redstone torch, 
the redstone torch there. Boom, you got yourself a nice little table. You can do that on both sides. Looks pretty good. Maybe add some cake. I don't know if you can put cake on top of pistons. Let's see. Oh, you can. But yeah, just stuff like that. And you'll just keep designing it, you know, adding details, making it your own. Because the interior is really up to you guys. Again, I'm just here to give you some ideas, you know, maybe add some paintings. I could probably go on for this all, all day, you know, just adding details and making this house look super pretty. Oh, those paintings look nice. But yeah, so you'll just keep doing that, adding around the house. And then the main, main hallway right here, you know how I've done these two carpets. I've done that carpet and I've done that carpet right there. What I like to do is I like to keep the carpets uh, kind of the same, just so you can get the same theme around the house. So we'll go ahead and build a nice checkered carpet real quick. Like that. Yeah. Right there, you don't want to make the carpet too big and cover the hallway too much. That's pretty good. All right, and we can get some stone brick stairs. And once more, I know I'm reiterating this a lot, but this is totally up to you on how you want to build the interior. Uh, this is just what I would personally do. We can get some nice flower tables, which we'll eventually put there, and make these painting tables as well, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. But let's put those down. Maybe a nice little chair. Right there, and another chair right here, why not? I uh, don't want to block up the ladder, actually, so I'll just put a painting there. But now if we get painting, Ooh, I forgot how they, it's weird how they do the new paintings, how you have to have the exact blocks blocked off so that creates that specific painting. It's weird how they do that. Get a two brick painting right there and maybe some flower pots with some nice flowers you've, you've collected from around the area. My favorite flowers in Minecraft, uh, not corn flowers. They're right here, the blue orchids. I like these guys. Maybe even with the cornflower. I haven't had the cornflower yet. But let's, let's see how this is. Here I am deciding on which flowers to put in my Minecraft house. That's kind of funny. All right, so, but yeah, you can just decorate this, you know, add some more lighting, because of course you always want to keep your house mob proof. It's annoying when you have a mob jump in and all of a sudden blow you up, but you can add some nice lighting around the house with torches, because they're friendly and they look nice. They look, they look kind of almost medieval. Maybe that's too many torches. It's totally up to you. And I'm actually going to change this right here too, because I don't like that. I, I like how it almost looks separated. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. But again, it's totally up to you guys. You guys design the interior however you want. This is just a quick example of possibly what I'd do. A nice little pool room with some tables and some cake and you got your bedroom over here. Maybe you could also add like anvils and, and brewing stands and stuff that you would use on a daily basis. And then up here, you got your chest room with all the signs organizing and telling you what to get. Just stuff like that. And then we should probably add the front doors too. What I like to do, and I know this probably isn't smart because any mobs can walk in, but I like to get pressure plates and at least put them on the outside so that when you walk in and walk out, it's just like super easy. But yeah, you get that. And to decorate the outside of the house, I would get oak leaves. It doesn't matter what leaves you have as long as you get some. Put some bushes around the house, make that look a bit nicer. Maybe one, two right there. It's all completely up to you, you know, you just want to get the house looking friendly and this is where you can get a little bit creative, artistic, let your mind tell you what to do, you know? yeah, right there, one, two, three, and once we go around, it looks nicer if you go around the entire house too, but also you'll have grass that you can add paths maybe going around the whole house, you know, there's an endless amount of possibilities on what you could do with this house and you can even build some redstone if you want some crazy redstone options since you got some work space to work with in there. You know, if you want to make every single part of the house absolutely useful. But you just keep doing that, you know, adding stuff around the house and, and, and you personalize it and make your yours. I did the main frame, but it's all up to you guys now. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and maybe if you're feeling especially uh, giddy, maybe you should subscribe too. But I hope you guys like this. This is my stereotypical house-friendly survival house survival tutorial. Yeah, and that's it.